Jordan Woods Red Table Talk is here, so you already know we have a lot to discuss. Like the fact Jordan has offered to take a lie detector test several times because she swears nothing happened and that she is not the reason Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson split up. However, Khloe feels very differently as she called Jordan a straight up liar. On top of all of this tea, we have an update on whether or not the Car Jenners are going to go for Jordan over that NDA. We're talking all about Jordan. Jordan Woods and her tell-all interview right now, and trust me, you don't want to miss it. How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. You already know the Car Jenner drama is nowhere near over after Jordan's interview, so make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. That way, you can keep up. Earlier this week, Jordan Woods went live on Instagram and announced that she would be sitting down with Jada Pinkett Smith to discuss her side of the cheating scandal on her show, Red Table Talk. We know Jordan chose to sit down and talk with Jada because not only are they family friends, but she felt like she would give her an unbiased platform to tell her story. Despite the Kardashians, Jenners reportedly being extremely upset that Jordan would do an interview, most notably Chris, she stuck to her guns and went through with it. And now the time you've been waiting for has come. What did Jordan say? Let's do this. Jada kicked off the interview being very open and honest with Jordan about how there is a family that feels betrayed by her and that now it is her time to take responsibility and make amends. This is when Jordan went into the details of her version that happened that night. She claimed she was out to dinner with friends, then afterwards they went to a bar. She claims her and Tristan Thompson were doing their own things at the bar and not flirting as several people previously reported. Next, Jordan claims that because it's quote, normal LA culture, her friends informed her that they were going to a house party after the bar. Come to find out, Tristan was the one hosting the party. Jordan claims that at the time she thought this was not a bad situation and that she would rather go to his house than a stranger's. She made sure to make it clear that he did not personally invite her. Jordan then proceeded to admit that she had nothing to do with people getting their phones confiscated. This part makes sense as many people claim that was Tristan's doing. At the party, Jordan recalls that she was not sitting in his lap, giving him a lap dance or making out with him. She did admit, however, that how she was sitting could have looked as though her and Tristan were getting cozy. She claims he was sitting in a chair while she was sitting on the arm of the chair with her legs over him. Looking back now, she realizes that this was not good. She told Jada, quote, if you're looking for a story, I can understand why that would be the story. She continued to deny that he made any moves on her and that everything that went down at the party was innocent. But still, she took responsibility, saying she could see why people think there was potentially something happening. When it comes to leaving his house at 7 a.m., Jordan says she looked outside, noticed the sun was coming up, and that it was probably a good time for her to go home. She had a driver waiting out front and when she went to tell Tristan goodbye, this is quote when the story gets tricky. Jordan says at this point, contrary to previous reports, she was not belligerently drunk or blacked out, but she was drunk. However, she says it was quote, not beyond the point of recollection. However, when Jordan was leaving, Tristan did lean in and kiss her. Good. No, it, it was like a kiss on the lips, but no tongue kiss, no making out. Got it. Nothing. After the kiss happened, Jordan said she didn't know how to feel because she couldn't believe he just kissed her. She did admit though that she doesn't blame Tristan for what he did because she allowed herself to be in that position. Jordan did admit that in his eyes, he probably saw that they were drinking, having fun. She stayed until the morning, so he might as well shoot his shot. Jordan then went into the aftermath of everything, saying that when she got home, she talked to Chloe and Kylie and informed them both that she was at the party, but she did not tell them about the kiss because she was trying to quote, forget that part of the story. She admitted that she was not honest about the actions that had taken place, but Jordan defended her omitting the truth to Chloe and Kylie by saying quote, I knew how much turmoil was going on. Let me not throw more fuel on the fire. Jordan maintained that she was trying to protect Chloe's heart and that she doesn't feel her treatment in this situation has been fair either and that she is not a homewrecker. She said straight up that she knows she is not the reason Chloe and Tristan broke up once and for all, which Chloe feels differently about, but we're gonna get to that in just a second. Overall, Jordan says she made two mistakes. One, going to Tristan's house in the first place, and two, not telling the truth right off the bat when she spoke to Chloe that morning. As far as speaking with Chloe and Kylie, Jordan admitted she's spoken to both of them. She mentioned several times throughout the interview that she has told Chloe she is willing to take a lie detector test if that's what she wants or needs for her to believe her story. She also revealed that she gave Kylie a heads up that she was going to sit down with Jada for a red table talk. Jordan admitted that aside from the lie detector test, she's willing to do whatever 
that the Cardiners want in order to make amends. She also addressed the question out there that this is all for publicity, and she made it clear it is not, and unfortunately, that this is her real life. And while many think she did this to further her career, Jordan made it clear that the only reason she broke her silence was because the safety of her family was being threatened. She mentioned her mother can't go to the grocery store, her brother can't go to work, and her 12-year-old sister can't go to school. Overall, she denied it all, minus the fact she was wrong to be there and lie about the small peck that happened at the end of the night. And while I think Jordan got a lot of people on her side during the interview, Chloe is going off on Twitter. First up, she called Jordan a straight up liar, saying, why are you lying, Jordan, if you're going to try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first? At least be honest about your story. BTW, you are the reason my family broke up. Followed by this tweet that defends Tristan saying, Tristan is equally to blame, but Tristan is the father of my child. Regardless of what he does to me, I won't do that to my daughter. He has been addressing this situation privately. If Tristan were to lie publicly about what conspired, then yes, I would address him publicly as well. Now I know the question on all your minds, being that Jordan talked all about the current situation, she most likely went against the NDA she signed while she was part of the Cardiner circle. This is something we were anticipating and we told you all about earlier this week. In a new report from The Blast, we've learned that if Jordan Woods apologized for her actions, it's unlikely the Cardiners would come for her for the million dollar fine that comes with breaking the NDA. And to be clear, it's not a one-time fine, the agreement states that it's a million dollar fine per infraction. However, the thing is that Jordan didn't necessarily apologize over and over again in the interview. While she owned up to what she sees as wrongdoings, she did not necessarily apologize. And being that Chloe is calling her a liar on social media, I hate to say it, but I think Jordan might need to protect herself and her $5 million net worth. We will just have to wait and see if this interview leads to reconciliation between her and the Kardashians down the line. While I'm not entirely sure that will happen, we know that Jada's goal was to create a healing between Jordan and Chloe, and we know Jordan ultimately wants that to lead to her repairing her friendship with Kylie. All right, you guys, I'm so ready to hear your thoughts on all the tea Jordan Woods spilled during her Red Table Talk interview. Was it everything you hoped for? Did you get closure? Let me know all your thoughts down there in the comments. For more on Jordan Woods, check out our story on who she was prior to her car and her demise. And as always, for more entertainment news, click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications.